Okay, that's uh, May 14th. This is a meeting of the Conway Select Board. Uh, first item on the agenda, oh, we're, we're being taped by the Frontier Community Access Television Station for viewing later on by our residents and the public. Okay, first item on the agenda, minutes for Monday, May 7th. I missed that meeting. Uh, did everybody okay. look at the uh, yeah. minutes? Yeah. I'm like, we we here. approve the minutes? Yeah, look good. Okay. Very good. Aye. In favor? Yeah. Right. Go ahead. Okay, next we have minutes for May 10th. Um, has everybody reviewed those minutes? Any yeah. changes yeah. or additions? That's good. No, they were fine. Okay, I'll make a motion that we approve those minutes. Should I have a second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we have four warrants tonight. We have a vendor warrant for $85,443, a payroll warrant for $107,985, a payroll deduction warrant of $26,570 and a student activity warrant for $4,015. I'll make a motion that we approve those warrants. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Next item on the agenda meeting, meetings attended by select board members. So I usually go first. So I, I went to uh, uh, a, a meeting last week that was, it was about towns purchasing EV charging stations. And uh, and that it, that came up when we were talking with the company that next hand is debating building um, a, a solar field here in Conway and and so it just seemed like it would be interesting to listen to other towns talk about it who who are doing it. It was mostly town administrators or purchasing managers, and it was in near Boston. It was put on by the Metropolitan Area uh, Purchasing Council and. Uh, and I didn't think they knew any more about it than we do. Um, but, you know, sort of debating where to put them and how you decide where they ought to go and what the rules are. And, and, and it was mostly put on by ChargePoint, that's one of the companies mm -hmm. that sells these things, and it was really kind of a sales pitch. But, but it was only disappointing to me because I couldn't drive my electric car into it because they held it in a place that didn't have a charge station. Uh -huh. and, uh, and, and, you know, to me, it's a perfect example of what's wrong with... with you know, accessibility to charge stations, and it meant I had to drive a gas-powered car in there because I wouldn't have made it home without charging, and and I would have had to have driven somewhere, and, and it would have taken a long time to charge, and I couldn't charge during the meeting. You mm -hmm. know, which is which is what you'd really like to do. So, uh, so that was interesting, okay. and uh, and then we all had a select board meeting partway through the week. So, right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I missed the last meeting, so I had I had a bunch of meetings. Um, I attended the Economic Development Summit in Worcester with um, the governor, the lieutenant governor, and uh, Jay Ash, the economic, the secretary of economic development. Um, that was very interesting. They had some good good speakers and good breakout sessions for that. Uh, I attended the EverSource annual emergency response plan meeting. Um, that's given by Eversource every, every year. Uh, that was, uh, was very interesting. They went over their their plans uh, for this year and, and basically what what they hope to do uh, in terms of, of taking down some trees and and doing some you know some of their pruning tree work and some of the upgrades on the uh, the infrastructure. Uh, I attended the MMA board meeting uh, in Boston. Uh, as you guys know, the MMA does um, monitors legislation, and that was a very interesting meeting because the, um, the the state is ahead of their tax collections by quite a bit, which is which is good. So that was that was a, a, a good meeting, very positive meeting. Had a meeting of the um, local government advisory commission. Uh, in which uh, the lieutenant governor gave us some some information about what's coming up in terms of what they want to do for the next year for their um, their administration. I also attended a meeting of the Massachusetts Selectmen's Association board uh, to talk about uh, what we're doing for the next couple of meetings during this year. Um, I attended the announcement of Governor Baker at the State House for Municipal Month. Uh, 
which was on the 8th last week. So that's where I've been for the last couple of weeks. Hardly any. Hardly any, yeah. Um, any citizen concerns? I don't see any. Okay, no citizen concerns. <coughs> what I'd like to do is move the appointment of Robert Novak up on the agenda because Jack and, and Bob are here, so um, we can do that right away instead of having them sit through a number of other things. Um, Chairman Gates, would you like to say something about the appointment of, of, of Robert Miller? Uh, sure. Bob's actually been an associate member for, we were debating, it's three to four years. Uh, I think it's okay. closer to four years that he's actually been an associate member on the board. And as you know, we've been, uh, we have four members now of the five that are allotted um, uh, for the, the commission. Um, and we've been advertising and as many town committees and can't get the, the fifth member. This would bring us to our fifth member. And so after um, part of the reason that initially he stayed on as an associate as opposed to a full member is he, uh, he wasn't real big on computers and <coughs> I, I communicate with everybody by uh, email. Um, it's just faster for me to get out the information. We don't hold meetings on the computers, but uh, um, if there's going to be a meeting or a meeting change or a site visit. But the, th the bottom line is we've had uh, over the last six months, a couple of times we can't muster. Uh, Marcel, who, who is a member but is not active for the last couple of years, she hasn't been to a meeting except for specific meetings. And she has a very good background on um, biology. And so I don't want her to leave. Uh, she's willing to do it, but we really don't have a replacement. And for a specific matter, for example, when the Eversource plans came through, she can look at all of the maps and the luminous books that they give us. And I'm not a biologist, she is, so she can talk the language. Mm -hmm. So she's a great resource. So we've wanted her to stay. But when we wind up with three of us mostly um, doing the meetings, if one of us isn't there, we can't get a quorum and we can't meet. Um, and. Um, <coughs> The other issue is that at times, this time of year, for example, we, we start having a busy time with site visits, and it's hard for me as much as I try. We're one of the better towns, I'm told, in that if somebody pulls a building permit, we get out there within the week, so we don't hold anybody up um, with building permits. Uh, we, we get on it, but it will be easier if we have one more person in town that's... Uh, and there's some of us that are semi-retired and some that are retired, and you know how that works. So anyway, it, it, it dawned on us that we have Bob, who's been involved with us uh, for a period of time. He kind of knows the ins and outs of the meetings. Um, he's been to site visits with us and things of that nature. So uh, we concluded as a commission, um, and we talked uh, that we wanted to submit his name. Uh, we feel he'll be able to do the job with us. It will, I think, alleviate our quorum issues um, pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and we work together enough that we're not really sending him out on his own entirely uh, without another member. We try to go multiple members. It's mm -hmm. really a good policy, I think, sure. to, to have more than one person doing site visits. So for all those reasons, uh, it's the commission's wish to have you uh, appoint him to be a member of the board. Well, obviously, you know Bob well, and you highly recommend him. I would. So, Bob, I'd you do the arm. <laughs> Got a no, lot to learn, even after three years. I mean, we, we all do, Bob. Yeah. 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 So, you're, you're in the same boat as everybody, so. Yeah. And if somebody, you know, I told him, if somebody better comes along, you know, they don't. Yeah, I'm not you know, worried about that. I wouldn't yeah. become an associate again, you know, but. If, if that'll help, that'll help. Any other questions for Bob? Not really. Okay, I'll make a motion that we approve uh, the appointment uh, based on the uh, uh, the chair of the Conservation Commission um, for Robert Novak to become a member for a term ending 6 30 18. We'll have to reappoint him after that. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you for, for Thank you. all that you do, Robert. We'll uh, get you a letter and you can come in and get sworn in and, and then you'll have to do it again in 
That, that, that's our vacant position. Okay. Is it? Because we are always yeah. appoint at the end of June. Okay. So you have to stand in front of Jenny and raise your right hand. I've done something like that before. Probably. But I'm with the. I do things with the historic commission too. You know, oh so yeah, sure. So it's okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bob, Thank you. take care. Jack, it's always you. good to see you. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. <coughs> okay, next item is town meeting items, budget warrant and motions. Tom? Uh, I've got, um, I'm just to uh, hand you, these, these are going to be handouts down at the meeting. But I thought I'd give you uh, copies here. Um, there's a couple of items taken care of in here. Uh, John was kind enough to point out an error in the percentage number. Um, Robert, I know you pointed out a uh, um, the, uh, the the totals, and, and I I tracked that down. Mm -hmm. I'd been calculating the percentage wrong. Right. And so this is these are all the correct percentages for six years. So um, that that'll let people know um, what's going on. And then there was a big jump from 15 to 16 to 16 to 17. And um, I explained some of the figures in that mm -hmm. because of course people are going to want to know once they see the figures why was there that jump. And then uh, just a brief explanation of Proposition Two and a Half, which explains why um, the budget can go up more than two point five percent. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Good. then and then we have the final figures. The, these are actually not the final figures for community preservation. So oh. I have revised motions for two articles, um, and those are. Uh, oh. Um, the uh, the, five bucks. the the motion from uh, Article Twenty Two was it said Medicare it should say Medicaid, mm -hmm. um, okay. and the the uh, the warrant says Medicare too. So I'm going to bring this up with Nick, make sure he agrees that we can make that change to the motion. We have a Medicaid revolving fund. We do not have a Medicare revolving fund. Right, so. Right. Uh, yeah, I think I think you should be okay with that. Yeah, uh, and then for Article Twenty Three, some minor changes, bringing it down just a few dollars from what is uh, printed on on this sheet, um, explaining. And this is really to explain why the last figure is fifty four thousand something, and the warrant it's thirty thousand something, and it's just. <clears throat> um, Again, we, and we got we got numbers in late. It, it's uh, it's kind of mandated by the uh, by the three percent figure. Mm -hmm. So it it's not changing what anybody's going to be taxed. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a correction. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna chat with Nick about all this beforehand. Okay. And. Uh, and we have, the, a, and we, I, we I have a copy of our other, our other motions, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, I have a question, and that is, I had sent out um, motions before, and I can <coughs> either, we can either go with those in this sort of corrected sheet for these two motions, or I can print them out again with this correct amount in it, and we can use that. Yeah, just just print out what what you have. We'll 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 work off that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, because we get something so dumb, different. The Tom's people got their own ask for question rights. Yeah, they're they're not going to get the motions. Right. Yeah, they're not going to um, get the motions. They will get the um, the the other handout, which shows all the sources uh, for the funding right. for all of right. the articles, and that's not going to change. Right. Uh, also, I understand that the planning board is going to have a slight amendment. If you're just changing uh, a number that's referred to, it's internal to the document. It's, you know, 0.4 that they're going to change to 0.5. 
Um, okay. So a, a, a minor change, but something that they felt that they should make as a motion. So that's uh, something that they're going to be offering on their big long article, okay. just to clean it up. And uh, those are the only things, uh, only changes to any uh, town meeting items that I know of at this point. Okay. okay. <laughs> Which is pretty close. Okay, next item on the agenda. Uh, letters of support for S2446, which would allow one EMT and one responder on ambulance calls. Bob, what do you think about that? It's fantastic. We got it's, okay. it's a killer for the town of County. Many okay. times, uh, I was going to say many times. Sometimes, our ambulance can't even leave the garage because there's not qualified enough EMTs to take it out. Okay, so this this will help us this get help a faster tremendously, response. Tremendously. Okay. It was Charlemont that drove this originally. Especially in the All the small towns have this yeah. problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And this, this language was based on the uh, advocacy we got. Um, it's pretty spare, but I think it says all that needs yeah, to be said. Right. If there's anything else, I'd be happy to add it, and we can print off some yeah. copies. But Okay. Yeah, no, that, that, that looks fine. Okay, good. Uh, and it's to the, to the chair and the co-chair of the Joint Committee on Health Care Financing. Okay. I'll make a motion that we approve uh, signing the letters of support for S2446, uh, which allows uh, one EMT and one first responder on ambulance calls. So I have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And of course, I will CC our own yeah. representative and yeah. senator. But, but not Kulik? You have your rep, but not our rep. <laughs> oh my God! I do. I have to reprint that. Oh, okay, that'd be yeah. I, I mean, hang on. I, Paul I, is completely appropriate, and that? he's got many towns that were very instrumental in this in this uh, letter. Should we okay. change these these are, these, are, these are dead. It would be better to yeah print a new one. Uh, my. Okay. Next item on the agenda. While we're waiting for those to be printed, we have a letter of appreciation to the 250th anniversary celebration committee. Um, has everybody seen this? No. No, I didn't see that. Okay. Um, Actually, Tom, Tom sent it to us in an email. Yes, but, he did. Yeah. Uh, but it wasn't in the packet. Nice. Yeah. Do you like do you like that letter? Very good. Okay. Okay. I'll make a motion that we sign the letter to the 250th anniversary celebration committee uh, for their great work and 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 long work that they did for us in helping us celebrate the 250th anniversary. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And that cat's got the uh, the, the video nice. on a on a memory stick, so they're going to be playing it off of a God bless a computer uh, and and a projector before town meeting tonight. We'll play before town meeting. We can wait. I think when the meeting oh, starts, we can put the screen up. Thank you, Tom. Okay. All right, we already we yeah, already voted. Play while the going on. No, no, not while the meeting's going yeah. on. We're before the meeting starts. And then we'll... Well, yeah, they're going to play it during the meeting, right? Okay. No, they're going to play John, it. John, they should be playing it right after John gives us letters. Congratulations. I think that the plan, their plan was to play it right up until we start the meeting. So they could play it through a couple times. Yeah, they're People gonna, are coming yes. in and getting their seats and that's, that's, getting, getting settled. That's the plan. And I figured right after that, then Nick or John or Nick can you know, talk about the 250th. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay, next item is revisions to emergency procurement <laughs> policy. Yeah. Has everybody gone over the yeah. uh, changes? Yeah, uh, last week there was some discussion to add a, a consultation with the treasurer. 
Um, so that last line in the second paragraph of the policy um, that sometimes it's not a question of the money being authorized, it's having the cash to actually pay it. Right. So right. Uh, a checking in with the treasurer so that she's aware of the impending purchases is a good idea. Good idea. Okay. All right, any other, any other comments or changes to this um, change in emergency procurement policy? Okay, I'll make a motion that we approve the revisions to the emergency procurement policy as presented this evening. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Uh, next item on the agenda, items not anticipated 48 hours in advance of the meeting, Tom? Any? None from me. Okay. Tom, your update. For committee news, uh, Parks and Rec is setting up a batting cage. Ooh. Polls showing its proposed location were laid out over the weekend, or they were supposed to be, I didn't actually check. The Conservation Commission is expected to give its approval Tuesday, May 22nd, with the cage being set up on or after Memorial Day weekend. This should be a great additional use for the ball field. Yes. Uh, and and I, I am given to understand that the Conservation uh, Commission has two main concerns. One, proximity to the stream, and it's going to have to be at least 10 feet away from that, I think. And then also that no heavy equipment be used mm -hmm. in setting it up. Right. Okay. So will this include a pitching machine? Yeah, inside of a yeah. net. Yeah. Right. Uh, a long net. Fabulous. Um, in departmental news, uh, news, there is uh, a reminder that there will be a Conway Grammar School 5K race on Sunday, May 20th. Paula Levchuk is organizing it and will be providing some entertainment outside the town hall. Okay. Okay. Uh, for town meeting, I think you all know we're going to try a new arrangement for seating for the Select Board Finance Committee and Moderator on the stage. The Finance Committee and Moderator have also been informed. This will only cause a problem when and if someone wants to show something on the overhead screen. People on the stage would have to move down to the floor to see it, uh, which includes the introductory clip on the 250th. Um, so that'll have to end and then we raise the screen and then we'll be able to see everyone on the stage. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. We can, we can uh, seat a, considerable, a considerably larger number of people this mm -hmm. one. Um, and then I mentioned for the warrant, uh, the planning board is gonna offer a motion to amend a typographical error in the long article. And we've been coordinating this with the, mo with the moderator. Okay, okay. Thank you, Tom. Uh, any concerns of the selectmen? No. No concerns of the selectmen. Okay, I didn't see any mail. I get a mail folder, so I don't see any mail. Don't have any announcements. Um, okay, uh, the next item is an executive session. So we're going to ask Alyssa to leave. Um, and then we'll, we'll go into executive session. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you. And we'll Thank adjourn you. during executive session? Yes, we will. We'll we'll adjourn adjourn from executive session into opening. Now you have to take the vote. Roll call. No. Yeah, well, as soon as... as soon no, as you, that's as an open meeting that you take the roll call vote. Oh, to right. To go okay. into executive session. Uh, right, session. okay. All right. Um, all right, we're, we're going to go into executive session for reason six, to consider the purchase of real property. Uh, and we need to do that in closed session because in open session would be detrimental to our negotiating position. Uh, Robert Aye. Armstrong. Aye. Yep. Robert Aye. Baker. Aye. And me. Aye. To go into executive session. Okay.